All right, so today I'm going to teach you how to browse the uh, internet with Safari on your iPod or iTouch or iPhone. Um, now, my symbol is different down here. You'll have a Safari sign or you'll have an Internet Explorer sign, um, but it's the same thing. Okay, so to browse the internet, you're just going to click on it. Um, and Google is the home page. So once you're on Google, um, Google search something, you just have to click in the box. And once you click, in the, once you click on the box, the on-screen keyboard will pop up. Um, so you want to type in anything you want here. So we'll type in hockey. All right, so we're gonna search hockey, and now the page is gonna load. And so once hockey comes up, we're gonna go ice hockey at Wikipedia. And we're gonna just click on it, and we're gonna wait for it to load. All right, and once it's loaded up, um, now you can't read this text as you can tell. So what you can do is if you go with your hand here, you pull out and you can see the text a lot better than if you want to pull your fingers back together and it zooms back out. You want to read the text, you go back in and it blows up. And now you can scroll around the whole page just like that. And then when you're done, you just scroll back out like that. And there you are. And there's the whole page and that's how you view um, any internet page right on your iTouch or iPhone. Uh, now if you want to, you can go down here and all that is going to do is going to open up a new page for you. So now you have two pages. Okay, so once you open up this new page here and we're just going to search something random in Google. Um, so once you're done searching, you have two pages open now. So you can go here and you can scroll back to your other page. If you're done on this page, you can go back out, you can scroll to your other page. That's how you um, view the internet on your either iPhone or iTouch. Um, and again, on this page, you can zoom in and out. And thank you for watching this video.